Master wants your head. No one can save you now. Hey, you're finally back. You have to go see Zardis right away. There's a problem. That I certainly believe. All hell's broken loose since you left. Talk to Zardis. He's waiting for you. Zardis gave me this rune for you. It'll help you get to him faster. We'll meet again there. Hey, you! I'm back from the Valley of Mines. High time, too. What did you see? You were right. The land's been overrun by an entire army of the enemy. Orcs are besieging the castle, and dragons have laid whole areas to waste. It won't be long before they attack Corinus, if I'm not mistaken. Lester said you wanted to see me at once. What the hell has happened here in the meantime? The enemy has learned who you really are, and that you're planning to get hold of the Eye of Enos. He has recognized the threat. It has forced him to leave his cover and openly attack. The game of hide and seek is over. Yesterday, nobody knew what the enemy's attack would look like. Now it has become only too obvious. I was attacked by magicians in black robes. The enemy has many faces. The Seekers are one of them. They're really the ones who prepare the ground for the enemy. They have taken up their positions in strategic places and are now only waiting for an opportunity to spring the trap. Stay out of their way. They are very powerful magical beings and they will try to deter you at any cost. I finally got the proof that Lord Hagen demanded of me. What proof is that? I received a letter from Garand, the commander of the Paladins in the Valley of Mines. In it, he asks for reinforcements. That should be enough to convince that militant warhorse. Well done. 
What will be the next step now? Go and bring Lord Hagen the letter from Garand, so that he may grant you access to the Eye of Enos. Then go to the monastery and talk to Pyrocar. He must give you the Eye. Nothing is more important than getting this artifact away to safety. Go now before it's too late. The enemy will also try to lay his hands on it. Any new developments in the last few days? Just go down the path to the city. If you run into a fellow with a black robe, then you'll know what's new. Have the black robes come to see you yet? Yeah, they've been here for a few days. If you ask me, they come straight from hell. How are your sheep? As if that would interest you at all. You have other problems. My problems? What would you know about that? Do you belong to the city guard or not? Then do something about these black robe bastards. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. All you can do is talk big. The best thing would be if you went away. 
Well, don't get all worked up. Beat it. How's your farm? I can't stand it anymore. All of a sudden, these fellows in black hoods showed up and posted themselves on the road, and on my farm. A short time later, my wife took deathly ill again. She spends most of the time just lying in bed. And that happens to her frequently. I'm falling apart here. Have you talked to the men in black? Sure. There was no way to prevent it. I think they're looking for someone. Why don't you do anything about those black robes? Well, I'd surely love to, but I saw how they burned one of the townspeople alive. Just like that. Why should I risk my life? Why don't you take your wife to the healer? We ought to go to the city to see Vatris about it. But I won't budge an inch from my farm as long as things are so chaotic here. Got my own opinion about that. Good thing Don't you're here. You, know that. you need to help me. I don't know why he gets so worked up. What kind of clothes are these? I, really that. I bought them from a trader outside of town. The guards wouldn't let me in at first. Also, there's no need to let the whole world know where I come from. You've got a point there. So why won't they That's the way I see it. But even though I've dumped my shadow garb, I'm still who I always was. And I have big plans for this city. That's all just gossip. What are you doing here? I've been observing the guards. They're constantly on their toes. I don't think it will be easy for me to get through there. So you didn't know that. What is this about? A lot of things have changed since I left here. I have to get back on my feet somehow. What's the problem? I have to get into the upper quarter. But I'm not a citizen of the town, and I don't have enough money to bribe the guards. That's where you come in. So you want me to lend you some gold? Nonsense. I've got some gold. A whole lot of gold, even. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. You need to go fetch my gold for me. That doesn't surprise me. What's in it for me? So Have I ever that? asked you what you could give me in return? We're friends, people. shouldn't that be enough? Okay, I'll help you. Well, listen, back when the barrier was still in place, I hid a small treasure. So sure. It's been quite a while, that's why I forgot to take it with me. And I can't leave here at all at the moment. To cut a long story short, you must go to the Valley of Mines for me and fetch my gold. You really didn't deserve that. Where's the gold hidden? Directly at the trading square, above the abandoned mine. It's in a leather satchel. Spare yourself that comment. I know myself that we must have walked right past it. Just bring me the bag. But don't forget to check that it's the right one, so you don't walk all that way for nothing. How can I recognize it? It's full of gold. A whole lot of gold. I'm no better off myself. What are you planning to do with the gold? I still have an account to settle with one of the merchants in the upper quarter. I need to take care of that. And then I'll be all set for a new career. 
There's nothing you can do about Where did you get all that gold? Am I the only one, then, who put some gold aside for himself in the Valley of Mines? Filching a few nuggets was a piece of cake, just in case we ever got out of there. Everybody was so keen on that ore that no one even cared for gold at the time. I don't know why get so worked up. I'll try to find your gold. Just do it. That's enough for me. I knew that would be a problem. I found your gold. Great. Show me. Very good. Gerbrandt had better watch out now. Listen, I still need to take care of the guards. I want you to take this letter to Gerbrandt. He is one of the fat merchants in the upper quarter. Give him my regards. I'll meet you in front of Gerbrandt's house then. I can't believe that. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I knew that would be a problem. Nothing surprises me anymore. We can only wait and see. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. I already thought as much. Nothing surprises me anymore. I've heard a thing or two. But no, he insisted he knew better. He really didn't deserve that. He never would have thought of that himself. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Hey, you! You hardly know who to believe these days. Show me your wares. It was just like you said. It's not what I heard. He didn't get that from me. Show me your wares. Since the mercenaries did in the Paladin Lothar, the Paladin's inspections have gotten a lot tougher. I hope that will ease up once they've hanged the murderer. Don't tell me you didn't know that. I'm in enough trouble as it is. How are things in town? There's nothing new so far. Drop in again later. That was quite obvious. Show me your wares. I agree with you completely. I wouldn't be so sure. You hardly know who to believe these days. Release the Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left. There's nothing you can do about it. But he knew that all along. I hardly know who to believe these days. Elvrich will work for you again from now on. I can only hope that he won't disappear again when the next little tart waves her skirt at him. Take this gold as a reward for bringing back my apprentice. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. There you are again. Teach me how to forge a decent sword. It's quite simple, boy. Get a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then you pound the blade into shape on the anvil.
What with? What with? There you are again. I want to sell the weapons I forged. Good. Give it here. Fine. And here's your pay. Set himself between his brothers in order to reconcile their What recipes can you teach me? I know a few. Make your own choice. Show me your wares. as well as animals, wolves, as well as sheep. Lobart's wife Hilda is sick. What? Again? The good woman should take better care of herself. One hard winter and she won't be with us anymore. All right. I will give her a medicine to reduce the fever. Oh, and while you're at it, you might as well drop it off with her. Can you heal me? You do not require healing magic at this time. I've got some honey tobacco for you. It is a great pleasure doing business with you. Can you make me a prophecy? Yes. Time has progressed. And I shall give you a prophecy in return for a few coins. How much? For a paltry 250 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. Tell me about the future. All right, son of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? You shall force what is nobody's destiny but yours through fire and snow, through ice and flames, men in foreign armor, a swamp, lizards, they await you. That's all. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The mercenary Smith Bennett, who treacherously murdered the paladin Lothar, has been condemned in the name of Innos. The sentence is death by hanging. The execution will take place in a few days. Have you got a better weapon for me? I haven't forgotten that you ratted me out to Lord Andre. 
kiss my ass. Have you got a better weapon for me? I haven't forgotten. Kiss my... I want to get stronger. There is nothing else I can teach you. You have become too good. You're strong enough. If you want to practice more, go somewhere else. Hey, you! I want to get stronger. I was in the Valley of Mines and saw the dragons. I have a letter from Commander Garon that confirms everything I said. That'll interest Lord Hagen. You had better go directly to him. How's the situation in town? Everything is under control. Carry out your assignments. You again? Try to pick another fight with me, are you? How come you're in the slammer? Those swine have thrown me in the hole. I'm supposed to have murdered a paladin. But I didn't do it. They're only trying to frame me. Why would they do that? How would I know? You've got to get me out of here. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tear down the wall. Who cares? Just do something. What happened? I went downtown with Hodges to buy some supplies for our boys. Suddenly, we heard a loud scream and the sound of running feet. Get to the point. We knew at once that something had happened and that they would grab us at once if they saw us there. We ran like hell, then just before we got to the city gate, I tripped and sprained my ankle. The rest is soon told. The militia was on me at once and they threw me straight into this hole. Who was murdered? I have no idea. One of the paladins. I don't know them. Have you got a name? Some Lothar, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You had better ask Lord Hagen. He knows all the details. Do they have any evidence against you? They say they have a witness who recognized me. Well, do you know who the witness is? No, all I know is that he's lying. Who's leading the investigation? Lord Hagen himself. Since the victim was one of the paladins, this falls under martial law. What does that mean? That's easy to guess. If I don't get out of here, they're going to let me swing without further ado. You've got to help me or there'll be a war. Lee's not going to take this lying down. You can figure out for yourself what that means. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the... You betrayed me. That was a big mistake. Now get lost. In the name of Innos. The sentence is death. Just hey, wait for you some shit. shit. That hit the spot. Filthy thief. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm warning you, don't try that again, you filthy thief.
The mercenary Smith Bennett, who treacherously murdered the paladin Lothar, has been condemned in the name of Innos. What do you want here? I want to see the prisoners. We put away the swine who murdered Lothar the Paladin. here I want to see the prisoners we put away the swine who murdered Lothar the Paladin how do you make a living now leave me alone so doing all right <laughs> go ahead mock me Eventually, you'll get what's due to you, I swear. Show me your wares. They never should have let it get so far. Now one of the mercenaries has actually murdered a paladin. Something had to happen one of these days. Hey! Show me your wares. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Show me your wares. Show me your wares. And thus spake Adonos to his brothers, Never again shall you I got the missing ornament land, from Lord Hagen, for it is you sacred, see? I thought the paladins so had it. Shall it be? I was at your hut in the Valley the of Mines, and the so it's still standing. War Did you find it? Adonis, if you mean your pouch the with the lumps of, the of ore, yes, I have it. You're a fox, you know that. Do you have it with you? I'll give you 100 gold human coins for it. slew the beast. And it entered into Beliar's no, realm. No, but I have a lump of ore here. Also good. Why did you leave it there in the first place? 
I had no Adenoff idea that ore was so valuable here in Corinus. For one measly piece of ore, you couldn't get so much as a place to sleep back in the penal colony. In the harbor city, they'll practically bash your skull in if they find Adenoff's out you have ore in on his you. Wisdom did so. I hope that I'll get it back soon. Give me 100 gold coins, and I'll give you your ore back. Deal. Here you go. You're a real friend. But Thanks Adenoff a lot. But feared for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Did you pick that up? That was obvious all along. And so he it was just like you said. Is it really true? Then it's gonna get even worse. That's an open secret. Anything new? I've seen the likes of you. You simply don't know your place. I shall have a talk with the governor concerning appropriate safety measures for the upper end of town. Diego says hello. What? Who? What, Diego? And he wants me to give you this letter. You don't say. That can't be. No. I'm a goner. Is he in town then? Who? Diego, of course. That's yes, terrible. I'm gonna meet him here shortly. Oh, this is the end then. All is lost. I've got no time. I need to get out of here, quick. If he finds me here, I'm done for. Someone's gotta do the work. Anything new? What is that about? Terrible. Are you trying to mock me? You and your buddy That's Diego have say. wreaked enough havoc already. Leave me alone. He simply thinks too much. I bring you news from Garand. Here, he gave me this message for you. Our situation is worse than I had feared, but report to me on the situation in the Valley of Mines. The paladins are holed up in the castle in the Valley of Mines, surrounded by orcs. There were many casualties in the prospecting operations, and there's barely any ore left. Well, I should say that without any help, the lads are lost. That's how it looks. I shall find a way to rescue this expedition. You have done much for us. Inos will thank you. I'm not all that interested in his gratitude. I want his eye. Yes, of course, I stand by my word. Take this letter. It will open the monastery gates to you. Speak with Pyrocar, the highest fire magician, and show him this authorization. He will grant you access to the eye of Inos. One more thing before you go. Take this rune as a token of my gratitude. It will take you safely back to the city whenever you want. I need to talk to you about Bennett. But that's the mercenary who murdered one of my men. How come you're so sure that Bennett is the killer? We have a witness. As you can see, there is no doubt about the mercenary's guilt. Who is that witness? Cornelius, the governor's secretary, saw the murder. His description fits Bennett, no doubt about that. As far as I am concerned, that settles the matter. The mercenary will hang for treason. How's the situation? I must find a way to rescue this expedition. We must do something against the dragons. Perhaps the Eye of Enos can save us all now. You saw the murder of Lothar, didn't you? I need not answer any questions about a current investigation. Lord Hagen already has everything I know on record. What was it you saw? Really, I haven't got any time now. You need to go now. The office is closing. Enough of that. What did you see? I... I saw how the mercenary struck down the paladin from behind. And then he took his sword and rammed it through his chest. Are you completely sure? Yes, of course. I saw it with my own eyes. But I 
Really haven't got any time now. There's a huge pile of paperwork I need to do. I don't believe you. So what? What are you going to do about it? Perjury will land you in the slammer for a long time. You're trying to threaten me? A little guardsman is threatening me, the secretary to the governor? If you don't get lost right now, I'll see to it that you are demoted. Put away that weapon. I don't believe you. So what? What are you going to do about it? You hold your life dear, don't you? If you attack me, they'll hang you. I have powerful friends. So don't you dare lay a finger on me. Now get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Smart kid. I don't so what? What is it you want? You don't even have enough gold to pay me. How much? Two thousand gold pieces. Well, that could make me rethink the matter. Here's the gold. It's better if I don't ask where you got that. To be honest, I don't really care, but we're in business. Here's the gold. It's better if I don't ask, to be honest, but we're in business. So what really happened? I didn't see what happened. I received some gold for blaming that mercenary. In times like these, it's everyone for himself. I needed that money. Who paid you? That's enough. He'll kill me if I rat him out. Are you going to tell that to Lord Hagen too? I'm not a lunatic. I can't stay in town now. I'll give you my diary. That should be proof enough. Just... Ah! Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. That slimy little criminal! In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. Cornelius is to be taken into immediate custody for perjury. He's made himself scarce. Sooner or later he will turn up, then we shall arrest him. Your deeds would give honor to one of our own. I want to take up service with the Order. Good. You have proven that you have the courage, the skill, and the devotion to serve Enos. Your deeds bear witness to a pure heart. If it is your wish, then I shall bid you welcome to our Order. I'm ready. Then, so shall it be. Many men have taken this path and given their lives in the name of Enos. Do you swear that your deeds will honor their deaths and proclaim the fame of Enos? I swear. Then, from now on, you are a member of our fellowship. I hereby appoint you a warrior of Enos. I give to you the weapons and armor of a knight. Bear them with pride, knight. Henceforth, by virtue of your rank, you shall have access to the monastery. Albrecht will teach you our magic. Just go and talk to him. And of course, our quarters in the upper end of the city are now open to you. How's the situation? I must find a way to rest. We m perhaps die. The situation in the Valley of Mines is quite worrying, but we shall develop plans to get rid of the dangers and get our boys out of there along with the ore. How is the situation on the mainland? The war isn't won yet, although the royal troops are already driving back the orcs. But small bands of orcs are gathering in many places, trying to scatter our army. They fight without honor and without faith and therefore we shall prevail in the end. Can you teach me? 
I can teach you how to fortify your arms in order to wield your weapons more effectively. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? What are you accosting me for? Who are you anyway? I, uh... Say, don't I know you from somewhere? Maybe so. Don't get snotty. Who do you think you're talking to anyway? The least you can do is address me in a more appropriate tone. And now get out of my sight. Can you teach me something? If you prove yourself worthy, I shall bestow the magic runes of the paladins upon you. Beyond that, I can teach you to increase your magic power. Am I worthy of receiving a rune? As a sign of your rank, I bestow upon you the Rune of Light. It is a symbol of truth and justice. Light the way for all those who walk the path of Innos. You must earn all other runes. Come again when you think you have proven yourself worthy. Am I worthy of receiving a rune? Which way have you chosen? The way of healing or the way of battle? I choose the path of combat. You are not yet worthy of receiving the next spell for this path. I choose the path of healing. You are not yet worthy. Hey! I've heard you are with the Paladins in the Valley of Mines. I'm impressed. You should take your time and browse my goods. Right now, I have a very special potion to offer. Show me your wares. It's my pleasure, noble warrior. I delivered the letter. Very good. How did Gerbrandt take it? He was rather shocked and made himself scarce right away. I should think so. I'm afraid that, first of all, I need to attend to furnishing my new house. If I remember correctly, Gerbrandt's taste is horrible. The house is yours then? Yes, from cellar to attic with all the furnishings. Having spent several years in less than befitting quarters, I'm looking forward to sleeping in a soft four-poster bed. And then, for breakfast, I'll have a fine wine and some excellent ham. You don't miss any chances, do you? You betcha. So how did you pull this off? Did you think that Gerbrandt came by his fortune through honest business? Of course, he never got his fingers dirty when it came to really shady deals. He had a helper for that. 
Of course, I caught on to a lot back then. Gerbrand finally got rid of me. He was probably afraid that I knew too much. You never told me about that. You never asked me. What about Gerbrand? He has enjoyed the good life for far too long. He was living here in the lap of luxury while I was forcing down meat bug stew. I have no idea where he went from here, but he'll never get a foothold in Corinus again. I'll see to that. If you're looking for him, you should try the Harbor District. What about my share? Looks like you haven't forgotten everything I've taught you after all. But you're right. I couldn't have done it without you. Here's your share. How's business? Lousy. Somebody should have told me that Corinus has gone to the dogs in the meantime. That's no news. I've only known the city like this. You should have seen it a few years ago. You would have liked it then. Hey, you! Aren't you feeling well? No, not at all. I've got this awful fever again. I should really go and see the town healer. But I'm too weak for that. Can I help? It would be wonderful if you could go to Vatris and get me my medicine. He'll know what is to be done. I can't do it anymore. Hey, you! I've got your medicine. Really? Our society needs more people like you. Thank you so much. I hope that these few coins are enough. Watch out for your farm. Well, I'll try. Shall get 
you. You managed to get accepted with the Paladins. I'm glad I took you on as an apprentice, even if you didn't spend a lot of time behind the anvil. I want to buy a magic ore blade. You Paladins can count yourselves lucky to be allowed to wield such excellent blades. By decree of Lord Hagen, I may only sell you a single magic weapon. So, what can I offer you? I'll take the one-handed sword. Take good care of your new weapon. It's worth a fortune. What do you think? Do you want to go up against me again? I think I've gotten better in the meantime. I want to fight against you. I only fight from noon until evening. The fighting is only worth... It's much... Give me something to drink. What do you have to offer? Then pay attention. Show me your maps. Good maps are important, especially for people who come from the mainland, Mr. Paladin. I knew this piece would interest you. What piece would that be? Well, that old map you just bought. I know your kind. You go for any chance of finding riches. Why don't you keep it for yourself? I'm an old man, and the times when I set out myself are long past. I leave that to younger people. What kind of a map is it? It seems to be a treasure map or the like. But you look to me like one who'll get to the heart of this matter himself. Where did you get this map? Oh, I found that in a stack of old maps which I bought recently. The seller must have overlooked it. Come back again later. I I'm sure to have something new for you then.
exactly know what to believe in. Better watch out. You already know what I think. I really didn't deserve it. It's quite it. obvious. That's nothing. There have been all kinds of rumors. better off myself someone's got to do the work you listen to the wrong people how's it going you don't look like you care about other people's worries in the least Nothing surprises me anymore. yeah sure I do what do you know the world is full of surprises I cleared out some of my stuff recently and sold a stack of old maps to Brahim the cartographer down by the harbor unfortunately I noticed that I'm missing a document. I assume it must have slipped in among the papers. Could you perhaps get it back for me? What's in it for me? Aha, I knew it. You're really no better than the rabble down at the harbor. So, what is it you're asking of a poor woman? You could be a little nice to me. But that's outrageous. I. Get out of here, you boorish lout! Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Taken, the following Take decree is hereby right. enacted. Mr. Kenneth has been Nothing declared do free of guilt because his innocence was proven That's by terrible. a clever advisor of Lord Hagen. I agree with you completely. 